Hello, hello. So today I'm going to be making a traditional Vietnamese dish called Bò Luk Lak, which means shaking beef. Oh yeah. So I got this recipe from a guy on YouTube named Ang Li Bê Tây And he does this recipe in two parts. The shaking beef part and the fried rice part. So let's look at the ingredients that we'll need for today. Now, I'm using about twice the amount of ingredients that Ang Li Bê Tây recipe had. And that's because I'm just hungry. For the shaking beef, you're gonna need some garlic, tender beef. Now this is a uh, beef knuckle. You'll also need some black pepper, oyster sauce, MSG, sugar, and some chicken powder, or as my mom likes to call it, chicken stock. But yeah, this is just chicken powder that's in a um, old pasta jar. Chili sauce, I've got some sriracha here. Asian tomato sauce. Now the reason I chose Asian tomato sauce was I wasn't sure if it tasted different to uh, Australian tomato sauce. So I figured, you know what, I'm gonna buy this Asian tomato sauce and see how it tastes. Let's see if there's any difference with Asian tomato sauce. Now let's try some Australian tomato sauce. I think they're pretty much the same, I think the Australian tomato sauce is a bit sweeter, but really there isn't too much of a difference between these two sauces. We will also need one small green capsicum, one red small capsicum, and one white onion that's been cubed. Now notice that the meat and the vegetables have been cubed to be about roughly the same size. The reason why I chose this much meat is because it kind of matches how much of the um, vegetables there are. You know, there's there's one part meat, to one part onions, to one part green, to one part red. Now for the fried egg rice part of Anle Beterro's recipe, he has an egg, chopped up spring onions, and food coloring. Now Anle Beterro used some yellow food seasoning to bring his rice to life. I'm gonna use orange and see how that turns out. You also need cooked rice, MSG, and chicken powder. So let's start making the look black part of the recipe. All right, so here we've got our vegetables. Put our meat in. I'm gonna put in some black pepper. Using probably a bit under a tablespoon of black pepper. I don't mind my beef being very uh, peppery. Use probably about two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Pinch of MSG. A generous pinch of sugar. Probably about a tablespoon of uh, tomato sauce. And depending on how spicy you want, you can use quite a bit of sriracha. I'm gonna use probably about this much. Some chicken powder. Over a tablespoon or so of chicken powder. Now this is the part where you have to get your hands dirty and mix up all the ingredients. So we're gonna let this set aside for a bit and now we're gonna move on to frying the rice. Okay, so I'll be honest. This is my first time making egg fried rice in a wok. And here I've made the terrible mistake of using way too much oil. Just look what happens to the egg. It becomes way too runny and it didn't turn into an omelette, which is what you want in this situation. Now to fix this, just use a lot less oil like seen here. A bowl of cooked rice. Pinch of chicken powder, pinch of MSG, now you will know that your rice is almost good when you can see individual ra uh, rice grains jump in the air. Now I'm going to put in my spring onions.
So now it's time to cook the shaking bean. All right, get some oil. We're gonna add in our diced garlic. All right, so here's the interesting part. We're gonna add in water now, but how much water you add in depends on how well cooked you want your beef to be. Now, if you want your shaking beef to be well done, you add in more water. If you want it to be more rare, you add in less water. I just got one ladle's worth. Now, we're gonna add in our meat mix. But I guess this is where the shaking part comes in. Shake. Now unfortunately, my Asian supermarket ran out of uh, Asian lettuce, but instead I've got kale. Kale looks nice on camera as well, so. Alright. Alright, let's get our shaking beef. So this is my first time making bowl look like. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Oh yeah. That sauce and the meat go together so wonderfully. It's not too spicy, but there's definitely that potent oyster sauce and tomato sauce flavoring. Mm -mm -mm. It's so juicy. Let's see how this uh, fried rice turned out. Oh my god. That's that's so good. Rice isn't too oily, it's not too dry, it's somewhere in between. It's got that smoky flavouring from the wok. You can taste that slight hint of egg in there. This stuff is damn good. Hmm, I've got an idea. Let's put some of my shaking beef on the kale. Put a bit of rice on there. Make a little parcel, a little wrap, some green wrap. Wrap it up. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna finish this off, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.